Happy Friday, Gladiators! I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Marissa Trahill, and this is your KWHS News. The topic of suicide is a hard topic to discuss because it is such a personal subject, but we've had so many suicides that our district has partnered with Aspen Point to host a suicide prevention clinic on September 21st at the Mesa Ridge Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. Licensed clinicians will provide tips and coping strategies, discuss warning signs, and additional resources. Please join us in this very important presentation and bring your family, friends, and neighbors. As a community, we are trying to stop teen suicides. If you need more info, please call this number. Marissa? The Red Cross Club is hosting a fundraiser called Penny Wars to raise relief funds for the hurricane victims in Florida and Louisiana. But today is the last day. The club will have tables set up in the science hall at lunch. Bring all of your spare change and join the cause. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps have started their visits with us. Wednesday the 21st brings UCCS, while Metro State University will be here on Thursday the 22nd, and Colorado College will visit us on September 27th. George Mason University closes out the month with a visit on September 28th. October visits start off with Grand Canyon University on October 6th, the Western State University on October 11th, and Fort Hayes State University on October 12th. In November, UNC Greeley will stop by on the 1st, DU will be here on the 8th, and Lamar Community College will stop by November 10th. And CSU Fort Collins will end the month with a visit on November 17th. Remember to get your pass from the Counseling Center to attend any of these sessions. Also, seniors, be sure to check out the link on the WHS Counseling Center page for scholarship ideas. The list is updated regularly. See the Counseling Center for more information. One last deadline to keep in mind is for the FAFSA application. March 31st is the deadline to submit your FAFSA for the 2016-17 school year. This application is required for grants, scholarships, and other forms of financial aid. Please check with the financial aid office at the school you plan to attend for accurate deadlines. Access FAFSA through this website and beware of scams. You should never have to pay to complete the FAFSA. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Hi, it's Miss Betsy here. It's Friday and I'm really excited. We're having beef fingers for lunch. Come down and join us. Thanks and have a great day. That sounds like a great lunch to end the week. Hey seniors, Herf Jones will be in the Lower Commons during lunch next Thursday, September 22nd to help seniors place cap, gown, and graduation announcement orders. Place your orders before winter break before prices go up. Announcements with the WHS logo are more limited in January. Go to this website after September 22nd to place orders. If you have any questions, contact Herf Jones directly at this number. Senior photos and baby ads are due on October 21st. See Ms. Kennedy for details. Also, if you did not make the Environmental Club meeting on Wednesday, be sure to see Mr. Cummings for more information. Now here's Elijah and Dylan with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Elijah Clark. And I'm Dylan Hamm. And this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Fall baseball workouts are still on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 4 on Big Blue. Well, it is time for open gym for basketball starting Monday, September 19th in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8. If you are a fall athlete, you must have permission from your coach to participate. Contact Mr. Munoz for more information. Football plays tonight at Cheyenne Mountain. Get out and support the Glads. Cross Country also has a meet this weekend at Rock Canyon. Softball played Sierra last night and cruised past the Stallions. Soccer played last night against the Falcon Falcons. We caught up with Cody Scholl before the game. So far our season's been a little rough. We've made a lot of mistakes, uh, but we're just now trying to find our rhythm and once we do, I think we can move forward. Right now our outlook is just to stay positive. Not doing too well on the record book, but we can still pick up from there. All around improvements need to be made. Just moving up the field, moving the defense around and uh, making changes when we need to make changes. As a team, I think we do pretty well. I wouldn't say there's any one strong player or any two strong players. We just, as a team, we mesh well and uh, we use our positions to the best of us. Thanks, Cody. If you haven't made it to a game yet, they have many more to come. I'm Dylan Hamp. And I'm Elijah Clark. Have an excellent Friday and a great weekend. Back to you, Marissa and Abby. Thanks, Elijah and Dylan. 
Glad's homecoming is around the corner on Saturday the 24th. The theme is Grecian Gardens. Remember, your outside guest forms are due today by 3 p.m. And tickets are now on pre-sale for $10 in the business office. Sounds like a fun night. Ladies, you have only today and next week to get your homecoming dress. See Ms. Melina in room 111 or Ms. HK in the library. Now until the 23rd to make a dress appointment for Becca's closet. Remember that the dress is yours to keep. Spirit Week starts Monday. Here's the schedule so you can start planning your outfits. Monday is Stoplight Day, where you dress according to your dating status. Green is looking, yellow is complicated, and red is taken. Remember that Tuesday there is no school, so wear your pajamas all day. Wednesday is Twin Day, Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Olympic Ring Day, where freshmen wear green, sophomores wear red, Juniors wear yellow, seniors wear blue, and staff wears black. If you are riding the rowdy bus, you must be here and seated on the bus by 6.15. All teachers and students, if you have a relative who graduated from Whitefield and is currently on active duty in the military, please bring in a photo of them, including their rank and the year they graduated, to the NJROTC room 125. Attention juniors, if you are interested in taking the PSAT test on Saturday, October 15th, you need to sign up in the Counseling Center by noon on October 13th. The cost is $15 and, the, and is due at sign up and space is limited. Remember that the PSAT test is not mandatory, but a PSAT your junior year is required if you have intentions of trying for the very difficult merit scholarship. The test will be 8 a.m. to noon. Cyber Patriot Club will be having the first meeting Thursday in Mr. Nell's room. Have a great weekend, Glads. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Mr. Hill, and this was your KWHS News.